So, Wordle. If you don't know about Wordle, perhaps because you live under a rock, or perhaps because all your friends who are tweeting about it never put a link in, it's a word-guessing game a bit like Mastermind, the board game, not the TV show. The computer picks a five-letter word, and you have six attempts to guess it, and the only clues you have is that when you get a letter right, it highlights green or yellow, depending on whether it's in the right place. There's a few subtleties about what happens if you've got more than one of the letter in the word. It doesn't matter for now. And what I was wondering is, can you always win? I don't mean, like, is it always possible to win, because you can just guess the word that's the answer. I mean, is it possible to always win? Can you keep your unbroken streak forever? Spoiler alert, yes, you can. So what I did was, I downloaded the Wordle card and I pulled out the word lists. There are actually two. There's one for the allowed guesses and one for the allowed solutions. The idea being that if you happen to know a really obscure word, you shouldn't type it in and have the computer say, no, that's not a word, you can't have it. But equally, if you don't know an obscure word, it shouldn't come up as the answer and leave you thinking, what, that's not a word. So there's quite a conservative word list for the answers with about 2,000 words in it. And there's a much more liberal word list you have to guess from with about 13,000 words on it. Both of those numbers are very small compared to the nearly 10 million things you'd be allowed to guess if it wasn't limited to real words. I also wrote some card to take a guess and a solution and spit out the sequence of clues Wordle will give you. And then I wrapped that in a loop which would go through every possible word in Wordle's solutions list and figure out what was the least helpful clue it could give you and how unhelpful that was. So if, for example, five black squares came up 300 times, that's quite bad. It had a badness score of 300 and I could take the word with the least bad badness score, which turned out to be reais. It's a plural of the Brazilian currency unit, R-E-A-I-S, and I think it had about 168 words have none of those letters in. And for each possible loop it can give you, you rule out all the solutions that don't match the clue, and then run the whole loop again to figure out the next best guess. And you do that until you run out of guesses, or the number of solutions left it can possibly be is less than the number of guesses you have left. And it turns out, you never run out of guesses. And I've now got a big file on my computer that tells me exactly what to guess at every stage in every possible game of Wordle to always win. But, Wordle has a hard mode. And I, I didn't know this. It's, it's buried in the settings in the top corner. Um, in hard mode, you have to use the clues you're given. So, more or less, you aren't allowed to guess something that you know is wrong. That means you aren't allowed to do these fishing expeditions. You aren't allowed to pick something that definitely isn't the answer, but is going to give you a lot of information. If you found out on your first term that there's definitely an R in it, you have to put an R in it. And that might not sound too restrictive, and in many ways it's not, but the problem with hard mode isn't that it limits what words you can guess so much that it traps you in a hole. If you find out on your third guess that the word is something, I-G-H-T, it could be fight, it could be eight, it could be sight, it could be white, apparently. There are, I think, nine words or so that it could possibly be. You don't have enough guesses left to get through all of them, and you aren't allowed to put in threats and knock five of them out in one turn. In hard mode, you have to plan your early moves tactically to avoid getting stuck in one of these positions in the first place. So I ran my card again this time, instead of optimising for the least bad, worst-case scenario, I optimised for the one which would reduce the size of these groups of similar words the most. And it told me that the best first move was blahs. If there weren't any of those letters in, your next best move... Blahs, by the way, is like a case of the blahs. It's an American term for depression, like not clinically, just a bit ugh. If there aren't any of those letters in, the best next move is Sentu, which is uh, another plural currency unit, this time of Latvia. If none of those letters are in, your next best move is Doggo. If none of those letters are in it, then the word must be Jiffy, Privy, Wimpy, or Fizzy. And if you put in Furry, as in sort of like a fir tree, you can figure out which one it is. 
and that didn't work. Not, not quite. Of the 2,315 possible answers in the Wordle database, there are 10 which you only have a 50-50 shot of getting with that strategy. You can't tell taunt from vaunt, parry from nanny, stamp from stared, parker from joker, or mound from wound. So in these cases, I told my card to go back to the previous move and guess like the second best option. I figured that it had worked for nearly every set of words in the database. It probably would work for these as well, given a different starting point. And for two of them, it did. But for three of them, it didn't. None of the options resolved the ambiguity. In those cases, I asked it to go back to the move before that. I think this was like the third move now. And in those cases, it did work. I do now have a solution for hard mode. I have a file on my computer that tells me how to play Wordle perfectly in hard mode. And indeed easy mode, because anything you can do in hard mode, you can do in easy mode. So, yes, it turns out you can fire up Wordle on your phone and open up these files on your computer and just type in what it says and you will always win. But why? Why would, why would you do that? That sucks all the fun out of it, right? Like, if you want to cheat, you can just open the dev tools and tell it that you've had a winning streak running since before Wordle was invented. And it'll believe you, it doesn't know any better. Now, I, I did this not because I wanted to use the answer, I was just curious, and I think it's important that you can do this. Like, I think it's important that you can, in theory, always win, because if you can't, then pitting your wit and instincts against the challenge is stupid. If I'm playing a game and it says, no, you have broken your streak, you are back to zero, but it had given me a puzzle that was unsolvable, that's that's not fun for me. I don't know about anyone else. If, if I wanted to be penalised for things I could not reasonably have done anything about, I'd try to get the deposit back on my flat. But if you do want to test out my Wordle strategies against the actual game, I've put them up on GitHub. I'll link them in the description. Knock yourself out. Just don't let anybody think that you've been playing on your own because when you put in Reis for your first move, the gig will be up. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I'm working on a longer video, which is not why I haven't been posting lately. That's just because it's 2022 and I have a big case of the blast. But I'm going to go because it's just gone midnight, so I have to check Wordle immediately and have a go at the next puzzle. Bye.